Hey guys, it's Anna. Thanks for coming back to my channel. So, a couple weeks ago, I placed an order at Craft Direct uh, for the Sizzix Sidekick. And I just was holding off on it, but then Tim released the side orders and I just had to jump on a deal. So, I wanted to do like an unboxing and just a little bit of showing of what I got. So, really quick, I also ordered these... 6x6 six six extreme value cardstocks. They are textured. They're 80 pound cardstocks. This one is textured and they're solid core. So even if I rip into them, they'll be the same color all the way through. And this one is smooth. So these are kind of like the brights and these are the textured. But I thought that th these would be good to have, just like the colors. Just to have in, the, in my stash since I don't have color cardstock, I usually use ink or um, or like markers to make my color cardstock. So I thought that that would be really nice. So I'm going to unbox this. Now it did come a little smushed, but I'm okay with that. Let me see if I can get more light or is this going to be too annoying? This might be too annoying. Sorry guys, still trying. I'm filming in the evening right now, so I'm trying to work out the lighting here. All right, let me know if that's a little bit better. Sorry for the glare. I'm really trying to figure out this whole lighting situation. And usually, I try to film everything during the day, so you guys won't have to really um, have to deal with that. So when you open the top, you get the little embossing folder which is actually pretty good quality of an embossing folder. I have one on my desk right now that I can compare it to. If you guys would give me just a sec. Yep. So this is a regular embossing folder and this is the, the Sidekick one. So they're very, I would say even the side order one is, I mean the one that comes in the thing is just a smidge thicker, but realistically you can't even tell. Like they're def it's definitely a real embossing folder, which was one of my concerns. So that's that. You get the manual. Really cute. Looks like a little bookmark. You get the embossing plate, which is not it's not uh doesn't have much give actually, and it's pretty thin, which I'm surprised at. The cutting plates, which are very thick. He always does this in his videos, doesn't he? They're pretty thick, actually. The stamp set. No, no real uh, sweet smell. Oh, so these are not the best quality stamps, but that's all right. You can always make that work if you um, condition them with some Versamark ink first. I might actually turn this away because it might be a bit distracting. And then these are the dies. Actually, the number, the the size of the numbers are actually pretty good. Let me see if I have anything to compare it to in terms of size. So right now I have this die on my table. This is the uh, Hero Art Stamp and Cut. This is the Prayers die. And actually the numbers are really good size. Let me just get how to print one off. This number one, I don't know if you guys can see. It's actually a pretty good size for folk, for, for like a card, I think. And I was worried that these would be really itty bitty, really tiny. Just because you can't always compare it to other stuff that you have. This says, make something every day. That's cute. I love that. Oh, okay. And you know what? I love the no fuss packaging. I love that it's not like um, kids toys where they have everything taped down, stuck down. That's great. Let's put that in the trash. And this is so cute. Okay. Oh, it is heavy duty. Now it looks a little dirty, but that's just probably because of the rubber. Oh, wow. That's really sturdy. I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually having to... The glass mat itself is moving. Mm, I want to die cut something, so... I'm just going to grab that prayers die that I had on my desk and I'm going to grab a piece of paper. Just a regular old piece of cardstock that I'm going to cut into a strip. 
Here we go. Oh, that one just flying everywhere. Oops. And what I always do is I always designate one to be my bottom and one to be my top. So I'm going to grab some washi, just some regular washi, whatever I have on my desk. Clip a little bit off. And that will be my top cutting plate. Because I like to keep one plate clean and one plate, you know, whatever. So that's my prayers die. And actually a lot of word dies are around this size because it's a good size for layouts and for cards. Now I'm not I'm used to my magnetic platform actually, so it's gonna get some use getting used to. I need to clear some stuff out of the way. Sorry guys, my desk is real messy right now at the moment just because I'm in the middle of crafting and didn't think I'd be filming today. But wow, I thought it would, my whole desk was going to move. I thought my glass mat was going to move. There's no imprint on my top plate at all. Very surprised and came out all in one piece. So obviously it leaves the die, which I think this is kind of cute. Now I don't want to use it. But... You could just keep one as a designated bottom one because clearly it doesn't leave an imprint on the top one. So that's fantastic, actually. Let me just poke this out real quick. I mean, just so I can put this die away. That's great. I mean, I'm really happy with that. And I'm going to give the embossing folder a shot just because... Might as well. We're already here. We're already doing it. Why not? It won't kill us. So embossing plate and the top plate. I believe. Okay. And then the handle's going up on its own, so I just follow that. And this I will probably have sitting right at the edge of my Ooh, that just went flying out. Because actually the pressure is not as as bad, so which would make sense. Oh, and that's actually really nice. It's a very, it's a deep, it's a pretty good impression, actually. I don't know if you can see how deep the impression is there. That's actually really great. I love that. Okay, and then I'm just going to do, this thing is sturdy. I'm really excited, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you the things in the side orders. If you haven't, this is going to be great for Valentine's Day, which is next week, so I can do some cute little note cards for my coworkers and leave it for them in their desk or in the desk and I'm most excited about the little envelope cute this one which I'm most excited for the suitcase and the airplane don't really care for the embossing folder or the little world but um, I got them as a bundle and actually I will leave the link below to craft direct it was very affordable. I got the whole bundle together and I got these dies and one other die set and it was about $100 with the two packs of paper. So it was a really great deal. This one is the summer one or the play one. And um, I thought the flip flops were cute. I'm not really too big of a fan on this so I might give this away. This one is the birthday one. Once again, I'm not a really big fan of this but might be cute. It's just that the images are so little. It w this would be cute if you had a additional, like, small, small focal image that you could pair, like a little dog that's sitting in front of the cake or something like that. That would be cute. I could work with that. And this is the Easter theme one, and I really liked this embossing folder. This one is called Hello, I think. And uh, I just really like this emboss embossing folder in this one. And then I also got this because it was on sale since Christmas was over. It does a ornament in this size, in this shape, and I don't have any of these like ornament shaped ones and it, com it comes with a cute die for a bow. And then it has like these little things you could add and it has a nativity scene, which I think is perfect for Christmas for my family since they're very, um, because they're very Christian or go to church or Whatever. I mean, you guys know what I mean. They would they would appreciate that. And if I don't know if you guys have ever looked, but if you looked online for nativity type stamps or sets, they can be very expensive. So 
there is that and yep so that's my review of my little Sizzix or my oh, unboxing of the Sizzix Sidekick this is actually quite hefty and it is very sturdy I will not keep it at the end of my desk here most likely put it on the edge of my desk to my left just, I mean to my right since I'm right handed so I can crank things faster but I'm really excited. I'm really happy about all the things that came in the kit. Maybe not the stamp set, but the dies themselves is pretty worth it. Just because this tag die is a really good size for a focal image on a card. I really like that. And the embossing pulp and the plates. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, continue to want to see more videos, subscribe so that I'm in your subscription box. I'm knowing you to death. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.